What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video We are doing something crazy different than normal. We're on a new map uh, I'm not sure how long we're gonna use this map. I'm not really sure if we're gonna continue on this map or not We're just just this is just gonna be a few videos Just getting used to the map seeing if we like it because this map has a seasons mod on it Now if you guys don't know what a seasons mod is that's okay because I don't really know what a seasons mod is so I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can. What is this thing? Is that a, oh, that's an old, an old tiller? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna explain to you guys the best I can, Seasons mod, what it is. So there's a basic mod out there, it's a Seasons mod. And this map basically incorporates that mod into, um, into the entire map. Like, you can't play this map, or I guess you might be able to play this map without having the season mode on, but it's like kind of just incorporated and put into the game, so it's in. Um, by the way, I did not buy all these things. These things came with the map. So when you start it up, you get all these tractors. So you guys are noticing probably also, upper right hand corner looks a little bit different here. You see, you got this little thing that says like the clouds, like temperature out, uh, and like temperature of the soil, I'm pretty sure. And it's day one, early spring. All right, so you can see that. And then if you click, hold Alt S, it pulls up this overview here, which you can also access from where's that <clears throat> oh yeah right here in the help area tells you everything about this um, I'm not gonna get into this right now I'm just gonna I'll read this on my own but so there we go so then you hold alt F and it gives you your layout for the entire week it tells you um, what is this Tuesday it's gonna rain Wednesday it's gonna rain Thursday it's gonna be partly cloudy Friday it's gonna rain Saturday Sunday it's gonna be good um, it just shows you that kind of stuff, shows you highs, lows, lows, highs, whatnot. So hit alt. I'll keep that one on. And then alt S. So then this shows you your planting seasons, all right? So you got like wheat. Wheat was going to be planted during early spring or during spring, summer, fall, winter. Winter's only poplar seeds, which is the little itty bitty trees, and oilseed radish, which would be cool because we've never done those before. Um, this game, this mode also brings in. Quite a few other uh, fruits is what I think they said they were. You got carrots, you got rice, you got oats, rye, spelt. Uh, I don't know that last one. I know millet, but I don't know this last one, the try to clay. I don't know what that is. But anyways, I'm going to open that back up actually. So yeah, this is what happens. Harvest season. Da -da 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 -da. So you got to wait all of the first like six weeks of summer before you do anything with those. So this is going to be... A very, 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 very realistic map. Well, are all these ours too? Holy crap. This isn't it. No, nah, that doesn't work. I wonder if any of these parts work. This is weird that just stuff's just chilling out. Dude, look at that. This entire truck's like taken apart. Sorry, I'm gonna be doing a little, uh, little walk around right now. All right, let's check and see if I wonder if any of these work. Oh, these do work. Nope, these don't work. Those are not real. These are just plain objects, just chilling out here, not actual pieces. All right, yeah, cause you can't get inside this John Deere right here. All right, well, anyways, give you guys a quick look at the map here. So map overview, overview, it's the uh, Wisconsin-Illinois map. I think this is the divider right here. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Let's go hop in this. All right, so we're going we're gonna to have to start the engine. All right, there we go. So we are going to go. We're going to go up here to that little cluster right to the north side. So right now, I... It looks like nothing is planted and we own fields one and two so we're gonna drive over there and we're gonna look see what that looks like snag with these trees oh yeah look at that the roads are all like fixed up and everything like they're cracked that looks exactly how it looks like here in Iowa so this is uh, the Midwest it's like a Midwest map it's called the Midwest like B2 I'm pretty sure uh, okay. Cut over. And then... Are all these fields right here separate? Okay, so all these fields right here are separate. And they're all divided by this little path here. 
this is what we own right ahead of us. But we're going to cut left right here and see what all this news is about. What is this? Keep this on. This looks like a weighing station. Uh, you can get gas there. Drop chaff there. Just got a bunch of chickens chilling out, walking around. So yeah, I'm going to have to explore this map quite a bit. What is that? Water? You can get water here. You got baby calves all around. Alright, let's go here to the greenhouses. Or the what looks to be greenhouses. Oh, are these actual functioning greenhouses? Oh my gosh, these are actual... You can grow strawberries. Dude, what? Oh my gosh, you can grow strawberries in here and sell them? Oh, what's over here? So what, does it go on a um, conveyor belt and it just spits it in? It must. Let's open up this door. Get out of here. Let's go around to the other side. Oh, so what is this? The scrap master? It spits out scraps? Yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of digging to see how this entire map works. Because there's quite a bit to it, as you guys can see already. This is probably just going to be a quick overview. Nothing really more. Mainly because this map is just huge right now. And I just don't know exactly what we need to start with. We need to start with planting, of course. We got $25,000 to use, so we'll use that. More strawberry boxes. All right. Is that our cow pasture right there? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we got some ducks. Oh, yeah, ducks. Yeah, there's like flying. Yeah, this map is crazy realistic. You guys have not been able to see this yet. All right, let's go over to field. Let's go over to our field. Field one and two. Is this a pig area? This is a pig area. Oh, it's got signs up and everything helping you tell you where to go. So you drop straw there. Water there. Whatever the heck that is. Oh, it, oh, it's got a mixer here that tells you how to do it. Oh, okay, that's pretty sick. Alright, so field one right here. This is what one that we own. Pretty small field. Good starting field. Got some rolling hills right here too. Alright, then the next area, field two. Field two is definitely a lot larger. There we go, that's better. Alright. Look at that over there. Alright, so we're gonna go back now to our main area. I'm not sure exactly where our farm is either. I think the farm might be where we were. It's just not like a classic farm. It's just more of like a wide open, um, I mean like a Midwest farm actually. And we're just going to drive through all this stuff right now because nothing's planted. Nothing at all is planted. Um, looks like you got a slight little pond there. There's a big hill over there. And then I'm not sure if in this winter it does actually snow on this map. It might actually snow. I just don't. I haven't seen it yet. There's a grain elevator down there we can store at. That's, or, or all of these grain elevators right here that we can use. Deck Lab, Monsanto. Let's see if there's a, like a drop point. Oh, there might be actually. Yeah, there is. So it looks like we have a working grain elevator. Which, how do you pick all that back up? Does it all... Do you go right into here? We're going to check this out. Let's see what we got in here. No, not in there. Maybe that isn't a working grain elevator. I'm trying to find a spot where you pick up. Where it drops off. Go around here and say so if you any of you have any experience on this map in particular or the scenes mod at all either 
let me know um, any like helpful hints you guys got if you guys figured some stuff out that's not a door can't access that if, yeah if you guys have anything helpful uh, or anything you guys have figured out just let me know because I'm kind of at a loss right now I have no idea what to do so it's gonna take me a while to kind of get going and figure it all out oh we got people walking around where is all of our stuff at it's over here but yeah leave a comment down below let me know what to do what where do I start I know I start with like probably planting but I'm not quite sure other than that I think I'm gonna start with start planting with since it's early weeks of spring oh what should I start with should I start with wheat camp plant so what is this, the first week yeah it's first week of spring so I'll probably start with corn you can plant for quite a while so I think you just have to plant it within this area so I can plant probably a few things it's just I can't harvest them till early fall early fall late summer so okay because of that let's start with Ooh, soybeans got a really late oh man oh uh, okay we'll start we'll go basic we'll start with wheat all right so let's get back and I'm gonna grab I'm gonna kind of set up for it set up for some planting uh, see all the equipment we have and then I know that it raining and whatnot is going to end up affecting oh hey got tractor supply and co here I know that it raining is going to end up affecting us in some way I just haven't read on how it does yet like it's gonna mess with um, like water and the uh, yeah I mean yeah obviously there's gonna be some weird stuff happening here all right, let's see what see what the help says. All right, so seasons is a mod that improves realism in the farming simulator game by adjusting nearly all aspects to be more realistic parameters. Everything from seasonal effects to crop growth patterns and animal production has been changed to be a, or to a more realistic level. Each game year has been broken up into four seasons: spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Each season is broken into three parts: early, mid, late. These parts refer to as transitions. Your activities are tied to the game. Um, are tied tied to the time of the year um, take place in real life all right so seasonal effects weather is a random from day to day but follows a pattern from season to season spring will be rainy and foggy with some chances of sunny weather summer will be warmer and drier hailstorms oh hailstorms can occur without any warning autumn will be rainy with some sunny weather winter will be rainy but often cold enough to allow snow to fall maybe even stay on the ground okay so snow might stay on the ground Snow will fill tippers and shovels, um, unless the tipper or shovel is covered in a shed. Oh, with a snow mask or tarp. Oh, that is really cool, actually. Daylight hours are also affected with seasons. Winters have shorter days, 8 hours, while summers have longer days, 17 hours. Wow, that's quite a bit. Um, bunker silos and silage bales will require time to ferment. It takes one-third of the season's of a, th of a season one transition to fully oh dang fully ferment either bunker silage or silage bale wrapped hay will not ferment but they are protected against the weather seasons will also affect trees and foliage the trees will change state according to seasonal temperature changes leaves will turn color and drop in the autumn that's really cool trees will go bare in the winter and will be lighter green in the spring sorry if you guys hear that squeaking in the background weather forecast alt f yep all right, so we already did that. Soil temperature is modeled using thermodynamic equations and historical data. This means that the soil will freeze in the winter when the air temperature drops below a certain point for a certain length of time. The soil will then thaw in the spring when the air temperature rises above a certain threshold for a certain length of time. Okay, so this is crazy realistic. The soil cannot be, not be worked when the ground is frozen. Crops will not grow in frozen soil. Crops will only germinate when the soil temperature is above the germination temperatures. Germination temperatures can be found on the first page. Left Alt S. Left Alt S. Oh, wow, okay. These brushes on, keys many. Oh, Fahrenheit, there we go, yes. Fly. So germination temps are all right here, I assume. What's the ones that, the, ones that go in the winter? Why is this one a little bit different? Maybe this one grows all season. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, go back to this. Alright. Crops intro. When starting a new game, all crops will be reset to their harvested stages. 
to simulate the fact that fields have not been worked since autumn. When using seasons for the first time in an existing save game, you have the option to either reset the crops or not. Default growth patterns of crops will be have been replaced with seasons. Crops will now follow a realistic growth pattern following their corresponding seasonal planting and harvesting times. This also means that the winter will kill most crops, and crops planted at the wrong time will not grow. So you got so we can't just like willy nilly just go plant and stuff, guys. We gotta like plan things out season by season, uh, year by year. Which years are only like nine days in this game, which is no time at all. Or no, seasons are only nine days. Crops are only, are only harvester, harvestable in their final growth stage, except for poplar and oilseed radish, and will stay in this stage, final stage until they are killed off in the winter. Once a non-root crop reaches the first harvestable stage, harvestable stage according to the growth overview in the escape menu, it is ready for harvest. This is the final harvestable stage. You can still silage green crops. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Arable crops. Crop growth is now much longer. It may take half a year for a crop to reach its harvestable stage. Winter will kill most crops, but winter and spring, um, winter and cream, spring crops are possible. Wheat, barley, poplar, grass, oil seed. They can be planted in the autumn for winter crops or planted in the spring for spring crops. Be certain that soil is warm enough for the germination of these crops. Corn, soybeans, sunflower, sugar beets, potatoes must be planted in the spring. Make sure you check with the growth overview in the seasons menu because some crops cannot be planted in the first transition of spring early spring and will die if you do even if the soil temperature is above so some of them are not good which we saw that earlier all right and then you got a lot more here um i'm just gonna go about and read this on my own oh it is getting nice and foggy out here um but i'm gonna go about and read the rest of that on my own uh you guys can look into it a little bit more if you guys want to do it if you guys want to start a single player and play along with me, um, share some tips you guys have learned or anything like that, that'd be nice. Um, and right now we do have all Fent stuff right here and we got a little bit of mixture over there. Got some new Holland on the other side. Um, what is this? Is this a case? Yeah. But eventually we'll, we might transition to all John Deere. That's the hope, but we don't know yet because, um, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I have it all in the game here. Where's John Deere at? Go to tractors they'll be all in tractors yeah a lot of john deere tractors right here starts about here rest of them are john deere so yeah we'll probably bring in some john deere later once we get the hang of things because you got these double dualies right here which is crazy so guys we're gonna end it here another video tomorrow of this don't worry we will definitely be doing another one i just want to kind of figure it out i want you guys to i'd love for you guys to help me i'm gonna try to figure some out on my own um the seasons mod is gonna be crazy i should try and get like the squad Spence tv to do something with me on this which would be really good. And then, you know, track supply code. Those are some of those in Iowa. Quite a bit of those in Iowa in the Midwest, actually. And then, but yeah, guys, I think we're ending here. If you guys like the seasons mod and you like this map here, which this map is pretty spot on to the location it is, hit that like button. Comment, you guys, let me know. What do you think? What do you think? I gotta know. Let me know anything you guys know also. And I'll see everybody in the next video. In the next video, yes, we'll be getting to some farming, we'll get into some planting. So I'll see you all later.